Yeah, that was the longest kick ever now. <laughs> Is that not the only one he ever had for City? That's an incredible piece of skill. He doesn't need my approval. It's not an assist. They said it wasn't. To Raheem Sterling. Bruyne lifts it in again. Stones! And what a quality ball it was! His 100th assist for Manchester City for Kevin De Bruyne. Just describe what's the difference in feeling before, between getting an assist and scoring a goal? It's probably no difference. Um, I think when you give a, a good assist well, where the difficulty was high and like the striker does it maybe a tap in or whatever I, you know you know I think with the way you give the ball you know that sometimes it's harder to to give the ball than the assist and that's also going to be different sometimes I just give a, a sideway pass and the guy dribbles 40 meters and put it top in and then you know you got the assist also so it, it, it's the give and take honestly yeah that's the longest kick ever now <laughs> We know how far we can kick it now. Nah, you know, it, I think in the beginning, I think uh, this was one of the first years he was here and nobody knew how far he could kick the ball. So everybody was just setting up, it's like, oh, leave Kun alone, it's fine. So he just kicked it about 90 meters to the other side of the pitch. You know, honestly, I think more, more teams are now set up that this is not happening anymore, but obviously, yeah, in the beginning, but even now, you know, his, his passing range is, is incredible. It's nice to have options for goals. Yeah, I think it helped us because obviously, because of Eddie being able to do this, makes the pitch a little bit bigger, so we've got more option to do, do different things than if a, if a keeper was only able to put it like halfway line so they can press his way up. I already know which one that is. Is that not the only one he ever had for City? <laughs> Someone's done the research. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty important now. It doesn't matter. The assist is not really incredible, but uh, I don't. Nobody at City would care, do they? So, yeah. yeah. No. Nah, you know, it's the biggest, biggest goal in the history. I think of City, or probably the most, one of the most important. So uh, that makes it an incredible assist. But. I think we're going to come to others, which are like maybe some just came in in important moments, and some which are less important. Yeah, so sometimes it's sometimes the moment, you right? know the importance is makes makes a lot of it because even if that this is only one and it's not an, an incredible assist, everybody's going to remember in that goal he was part of, and if he wasn't, then he wouldn't have won. So. Balotelli. Uh, derby game. Oh, okay, I saw that one. It's like a half volley assist from David to Checo. Yeah, that that's an incredible piece of skill. That's very difficult to do. So uh, I think was it six six one that one that derby, no? Six one. For yeah. Sure. No, that you know the technique on that is very difficult, and you know. Luckily, Jekyll scored because otherwise it wouldn't count as anything, you know, and it's, sometimes this happens also too. Oh, yeah. Little slide pass. Yeah, yeah, did it a lot, didn't he, in his career? Nah, he's got a brilliant touch, you know, these passes in between, like little chips. Nah, he was one of the masters of that, I think, with Sami, he had a great connection, so it's a great goal. One-two with a player who understands him like no other, Yaya Toure. And Nasri cool under pressure. Dink is over the goalkeeper. David Silva though. Silva who does not carry on his run. Negrado puts it across. Oh, that's a good goal. That that's a difficult pass. Yeah, that's a seal of approval from Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> he doesn't need my approval. <laughs> Well, he's got it. I'm sure nah. he'll enjoy it. No, no, that's that's a really difficult ball to do that behind the line with the outside of the foot. That's that's hard. That's the kind of pass I would probably associate with you. But he was famously very one-footed. So if you yeah, but if you do it like this, uh, then it's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not carry on his run. Negredo puts it across. A perfect delivery from Alvaro Negredo. Do you want to have a look at the next one? <laughs> yeah, it's my one against Stoke. Is this your best one for City, would you say? 
Uh, yeah, I'll put it up there, probably with the Villa one last year. Probably a little bit similar. Uh, but yeah, it's the same like Negredo, obviously. It's like you, this one is more in between, but the other one is, you know, around the defense. And, you know, you have to put it in the right speed. And then, you know, if the guys run into it, then thank you. It's the, it's the vision as well, though, isn't it? Like being able to spot the passes as much as the technique. Uh, yeah, you try to f find gaps in the defense and hopefully your your attack is running onto it because if he doesn't make the run, I cannot give the pass. You know, I could give the pass, but where is going to run? So you need that connection. Do you know that he's making that run? Like, have you drilled it and trained it so many times? Well, it's not, not really in training. You try to see if they, they're making the run, you know, try to have a quick peak and then you know it's all matters of of seconds anyway so yeah it goes really quick so sometimes it's difficult to explain the crowd starts singing your name after that and Leroy's pointing to you as well I think the crowd in at the stadium can see these things a bit more than sometimes you see it on the TV cameras you yeah know. I can understand that because you have more vision of what's happening I think on, on TV you you only see a certain angle probably and not the whole pitch where on the, on the stadium you can see you can see it more happening, I think, so I can understand that. And once again, it's an exquisite pass. Oh, what a great strike. Oh, City have scored, and it's Berkovic. I mean, the goal is great. <laughs> but the corner as well is fantastic. No, no the I corner think. is perfectly taken, but obviously a there's strike. a lot of stuff to do when you have to yeah, shoot like that. You need to take it perfect there, and it does. Benabia, Gota, Benabia. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah, that's nice. But even the shot, I was more surprised with this shot. I understand the flick is nice, but like <laughs> that shot is difficult. To KDB. It's, it's not an assist. The they said it wasn't. But what do you say? Well, for me, that's a clear one. Honestly, that's that's clear. Uh, last one. We're talking about big moments for big assists. And this was one. He's found Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus for a record-breaking goal. Right at the last. Was it like last ditch? Like, okay, this is it. Mostly, yeah. Well, you, you see somebody running and then try to put it deep and then, yeah, obviously a great moment for us. I mean, did, were you aware this was the last, you know, chance? Well, we, we knew it's one of the last minutes, that's why we playing that way, but yeah. yeah. I think just everybody was just so excited that, it, you know, 100 points never happened, so, yeah. And is that one of your favourites as well for that reason? Well, the assist itself is nothing special, but you know, it's like the Balotelli one, you know, the... the, the it's better than the Balotelli one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not that difficult. It's a good long ball, but that's about it. And, you know, obviously in the end, you need to control it, and put it over the keeper, but it's just, you know, because of having 100 points, it's so important. That man De Bruyne, the past quality of the ball. That does mean Kevin De Bruyne wins the assist award. Yeah!